Hey everybody and welcome to the intersection of sports and marketing. I'm Brian Cristio and this is episode 35 of Out of Scope. If you're not passionate, do something else. All you marketers out there need to listen to this. Sports marketing expert, Brian Cristiano. Brian Cristiano. Brian Cristiano. Marketers and advertisers and brands always have to keep in mind, you have to play to the state of your audience. Endurance sports athletes are absolutely fanatics. Having a Facebook page doesn't get you any business, but doing it right can be quite effective. Passion, passion, passion. That's, man, that's what everything's about. Um, you know, that's, that's what we are all about here at Bold. Um, everything we do, every client we work with, everyone that works here, passion is at the core of everything, right? Um, that is one of the reasons that we mostly work with sports brands because the consumers are so passionate about their sports teams, about their apparel, about technology, um, whatever it might be. They love this stuff and they want more of it. They can't consume enough of it and that excites us. And the best part is as most of the people here are also athletes or you know, have some sort of, they, they love the outdoors in one way, shape or form, we work with brands and stuff that you know, we already use and we already know and we would love to be a part of anyway and so it gets everybody out of bed in the morning to come here walk through the doors and really enjoy working here and excited to do whatever the next thing is to talk to the clients because they're passionate too right we're working with sports teams and brands and um you know outdoor type companies and guess what those brands and the people that work there they're passionate too because they're the same type of people and I think that living your life just across the board, not just work, but across the board from a passion perspective is where it all has to begin and end, right? Um, whether it's you know getting up at five o'clock in the morning to go and train on the bike so you can get your butt kicked on the, at a race on the weekend, like that's all passion. Um, you know, it's, it has to come from that perspective. You have to want to walk out of the door in the morning and go, to your business, go to your job, go wherever it might be, to get on the bike, go out for a run, go, you know, whatever it is that you do, whatever it is that excites you, go paint, right? It doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be sports, it's just I use that as a great analogy because that's what a lot, that's what a lot of my life is based around, that's what this agency is based around, um, so it's a good analogy for me, but whatever that passion point is for you, whatever it is that you love to do, if it's writing, if it's running, if it's painting, if it's you know surfing, whatever, go do it, right? You have to have that thing in your life um, that's totally external, that's outside of yourself, that's something to do that takes you away and breaks away from the rest of your big piece of your life. Um, you know, and that's cycling for me, but then you also have to have a place, a business that you go to where you make money, but you're not there just to make money. You're there because you'd want to be there anyway. You want to be talking to the people that work there. You want to be talking to the clients that you have. You want to be doing the work, the creative um, that, you know, that you do because you would want to do it anyway. If you'd be at home and you didn't have this job, you'd be doing it on the, on the side for fun. It all has to come from passion. I think anyone who works somewhere or does something that they really don't care about and they're just doing for money, dude, give it up immediately. Find something else to do. You know why? Because you're not gonna get to 80 years old, 90 years old, 100 years old, be on your deathbed and go, man, I'm really glad I worked at that dead end job for 20 years for that money. No one will ever say that, never. I work tons of hours because it doesn't feel like work to me. I enjoy it, I'm passionate about it, I like it. It never feels like work, right? That's, sometimes it's too hard for me to turn off from it because I enjoy it, I would be doing this anyway. Um, but I know that I'm not gonna get to 90 years old and go, oh man, like that wasn't a fun ride, right? I, that's where I base all of my decisions on, right? I, I, if I get to a crossroad in my life where I'm like, is this important or is this not important, right? Things that in my life, is column A or column B, is this important to me? Do I need to worry about it? Do I need to feel stressed about it? Or can I totally ignore it? Is it not important? And I, I immediately, the first thing I do is I think, when I'm 80, when I'm 90, and I'm on my deathbed, will I remember this? And if the answer is no, then it's not important. If the answer is yes, then it's important. And that's it. And I think that that all comes back to the passion. You have to enjoy life. Life is short. 
It could be gone tomorrow, it could be gone next week, it could be gone 100 years from now. But even if it's gone 100 years from now, that time goes by so fast. You gotta enjoy it, you gotta have fun, there's no reason to stress, there's no reason to be freaked out, there's no, just enjoy it. You're gonna have crazy stuff happen to you in your life and you gotta be able to make the decision of what's important and what's not important. And if it's not passionate to you, then it's probably not important. Now, I'm not saying that you can ignore all the things in life. Of course, you gotta pay your bills, you gotta pay the rent, you gotta do stuff that you don't wanna do because you have to do it, but you have to look at the big picture and say, are these things that I'm doing going in the direction that I ultimately wanna go in life, right? If I don't pay my rent, I will end up homeless, therefore, I don't wanna be homeless, so yeah, I have to do that thing. I need to spend energy and time on it, of course, right? But the main things that you do in your day, where do you spend the most of your time? At work. That's where everyone spends the most of their day. Not everybody, but most people do. So if you're not passionate about it, you're burning the vast majority of your day, every single day doing something you don't give a crap about. And that in my life is not acceptable, right? And it doesn't have to be, it's not about the money, it's not about anything else, it's not about being successful. Like, yeah, all that stuff's awesome, that's cool. Like, that would be great, but I, you know, I wouldn't care. I don't care, you know, unless I'm enjoying myself. It's fun. The game is fun. The game of business is fun. Marketing is fun. Working with sports brands is fun. Getting up at five o'clock in the morning is hard, but then getting on my bike is fun. It's hard work. It's not easy. I don't want to get out in there and do intervals till I almost throw up at six o'clock in the morning like I did this morning. That sucks. But my bigger goal is to be a better cyclist, therefore I have to do that because I love and enjoy cycling, right? Same thing with business. You're not gonna wanna take every meeting, you're not gonna wanna stay sometimes till midnight, you're not gonna want to, you know, take some clients that you don't love, like, you know, try not to do those things, but sometimes you have to because that's what's gonna take you that next rung up, that next step in the right direction to where ultimately you wanna go. And you have to be passionate about where your future is taking you. Because everything you do today writes that future. Everything. What you're doing right now dictates what's going to happen to you 10 minutes from now, a year from now, 20 years from now, 100 years from now. Every decision, everything you do, where you spend your time, what you're passionate about, where your energy is, will dictate where you are in the future. This is how you write your life, is what you do now. So if you're not passionate about it now, you're not going to be passionate about it 20 years from now. And then guess what? You look back and say, wow, why did I do those things? Why did I, right? If it's not important, if it's not for family, if it's not for your relationship, if it's not for business, if it's not for fun, if it's not passionate in any of those areas, don't bother. Find something you are passionate about. Doesn't matter what it is. Find something you're super, super passionate about and go that direction. Go in 100% and just go all in in that direction, whatever it is for you, and just go. But work hard. You can't just say, oh, well, I'm really passionate about this, so I'm going to sit around and watch TV about it. That's not a passion. That's being lazy. You can't be lazy. You have to work hard. You want success. You want to do you know, stuff. I mean, you know, Gary Vee is a great example, right? I mean, he always talks about the hustle. Um, yeah, man, like you have to call it the hustle, call it working hard, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, you have to put in the time, you have to put in the energy, you have to put in the right energy. But if you're not passionate about it, you're never going to want to put in the energy. You're never going to want to put in the time, right? A guy like Gary Vee, one of the most passionate dudes I've ever seen in my life. I mean, he inspires me when I watch his show, that he's one of the reasons I do this show. And, um, you know, watching him, you realize he's so passionate. That's how he can burn the oil for, you know, 18 hours a day, get up the next morning, be excited about it and do a show. Like, people like that, it's because they found something they're super passionate about. That's why it looks easy to those people. Not because it's easy. It's hard for everybody. But it's because they're so passionate about it that they would want to do it anyway. And that's what I bring to you. Find out whatever it is that you're super passionate about and go all in on it. And if you're doing something where it feels mundane and you don't like it, you're not passionate about it, find something else because you're going to regret it later. Anyway, let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your comments on this one. Make sure to share, comment, subscribe to the podcast. Thank you so much for watching Out of Scope. We'll talk to you soon.
Roar!